Bedtime Story by me, Carol Ann Henderson. Good evening, my precious wonder. It's high time on this late night to tuck you in. But before the moon has his last word, a bedtime story is about to begin. Once upon a time, our hearts were wide open to life's wondrous miracles, magic, and mysteries. We were young, fearing not what was up ahead, embarking on our days with the greatest of ease. However, while reality is sweet, it is somber too. That's just the way it goes for absolutely everyone. So we lose our naivete somewhere along the way. Forgetting life is a gift that is meant to be fun. As the story goes, we should adjust our focus to be on the gifts that bring us joy and pleasure so that we can reclaim our childlike enthusiasm, bringing us satisfactions beyond any measure. The best way to do this is to open your attention to everything in life, sans any doubt, or judgment, above all imbue a deep sense of heartfelt gratitude for the marvels in life which fill us with wonderment. Reflections on this passing day should be sweet as always noting any goodness that came your way and all the treasures you should allow to define who you are, all you do, and what you say. For instance, we can recall now that the sun always rises and the stars at night always come out to glisten, and how you can hear the reassuring voice of God right inside your heart through prayer as well as when you come to stillness and listen. So when tough times seem to daunt your dreams, Don't let disappointments and woes ever leave you in dismay. Look up, move forward, be glad, dream even bigger, since better yet awaits you within the glory of a brand new day. Notice that beauty abounds wherever you care to look for it. Something wonderful will always be on the horizon up ahead. Sweet dreams, my love, until the new day dawns and you reawaken. So let's tuck you in, wishing you a pleasant slumber, since it is now time for bed.
wishing you sweet dreams and a pleasant slumber, followed by the awakening of a beautiful new day.